In this Grasshopper tutorial, I want to show you how you can use the Surface Box tool to morph a desired module, which you can see here. It's a simple box, which I have shelled, and then morph that into a base surface, which is basically this surface. So in this tutorial, you can learn how to uh, put your module on your surface with the help of the Surface Box tool. You can also find this tool in the uh, transform morph menu here you can see here the transform menu the morph menu and here we have the surface box and you can download the example from, uh, file from our website and I will also put different examples for the Grasshopper course members for additional training for so those who are in the Grasshopper course they can also download an example for a curve attractor which you can see here uh, example for multiple uh, modules and you can see that uh, we have three different models here which we have morphed on the surface an example for the image attractor which you can see uh, an image is used to define those boxes and at the end they can also have an example about random so these files will be the for the grasshopper course members and they can use them uh, for more exercise so let's just get back to the tutorial and start from scratch so uh, when I start from scratch I want to produce a surface so let's just go to the Rhino and produce a rectangular surface here you can also produce whatever you want so let's just rebuild this surface and use the soft edit surface. I always use this because it's a simple tool to uh, produce a NURB surface. So I'm going to just deform this and in the middle here, it doesn't really matter because we want to go to the algorithm. So uh, we have this surface and we can also simply scale that a little bit. Okay, so assume that we, this is the surface we want to work on and we can go to the Parms menu and use that surface tool to import that. So let's just set this to the surface and hide this. So the tool, you can also search for the box and you can see that there is different tools, but the surface box is up there. So I'm going to search for surface box. Okay, you can see here, or simply go to the transform menu and use the surface box. So, if we give this surface here, we need a domain 2. Uh, we talked about the domain 2 in isotrim and different tutorials, but for now, what we can do is to simply use a divide domain 2. Let's just use the bifocals plugin so you can see what I'm doing and learn. Uh, better from that. Okay, so we just divide the domain of the surface into UV count. So maybe we need a 12 to 12 UV. We just give this to the domain. And if you just reparameterize the surface, what happens is that the domain 0 to 1 and 0 to 1, which is simply this domain versus this domain, is divided into 12 segments. So you can see here, these are the segments. This is really easy. You can see 0 to 0 0.83 and uh, up to 0 0.9, 0 0.9 to 1. So this is just dividing the 0 to 1 into 12 and 12 segments, okay? And you can just increase or decrease that to produce different boxes. Then we have the height. You can give this a simple number. So let's just give this a simple number. So uh, as you can see, I can just increase the height of this boxes and if I bake them you can see that this will just cover your surface with a bunch of boxes uh, you can also use the random reduce tool this is not in the exercise file but you can also use this if you want to just delete maybe 12 of them so you can also remember to use the random reduce if you want to just reduce a series of them uh, by random so you can see that if I just change the seed and let's just turn everything off and turn this off and you can see that this will just change that and you can increase the number so on okay so remember you can always play with that surface box tool uh, but what the main reason we are using is this because we can morph a, a module on this so let's just go to the transform section and use this box morph tool to morph a module on the surf on the boxes. So here we go. Uh, the geometry we want to put on that in this example is a simple box. So let's just produce a box here. The size doesn't really matter. 
and we can use the shell command and I don't know the thickness one is enough but let's just do this from this surface I want to delete these two surfaces and I guess that's a little bit uh, increase that thickness to maybe 10 and I want to delete these two surfaces and produce that module so here we can just give this the geometry we want to morph and this is the uh, module we want let's just turn this off the reference box is simply a box which is a bounding box for this so I'm going to go to the params menu and use this box tool to just simply connect a box to this and give this to the reference and the target uh, boxes are a twisted box you can see it here and we have produced a twisted box as a resulting uh, output so let's just give this to the target and now we can simply see that the surface is covered with this uh, whatever module you have on it as a 3D model. So if I just give this uh, maybe uh, a circle with a thickness and just extrude that up, we can just set this to this and you can see that this will change the results. So remember you can always uh, define different models. Okay, here's the results. And you can see I can increase that height to maybe 15 and the height of that will increase. Okay, for the bonus tip of this, Tutorial, I want to use the point attractor. Okay, you can see that I can uh, change the extrusion. Let's just delete this and go back to the... Okay, let's just delete these surfaces we had. Uh, delete this one. And we can just set this to this 3D model. Okay, turn everything off. And let's just go back, turn this off. And what we want to do before we use the box morph, let's just disable this we want to have different heights based on a point attractor so in this tutorial I'm going to explain point, uh, point attractor but for those who are the course members they can uh, see also the curve attractor the image attractor random things but uh, for those who don't know about this you can also watch other tutorials we have talked about attractors many times so what we want to do is to first go to the surface and use the evaluate surface and give this an MD slider because we can simply move a point on that surface wherever we want and then we have to find the distance between this point and the centers of these boxes uh, because we can't uh, calculate the center and then find the distance between them and then just give this back to the height this will just produce a recursive algorithm that is not right and you can't do that so what we want to do is to produce uh, a surface according to the surface box and this can be done by the iso trim tool let's just go to the surface utility and here we have the iso trim so let's just give this also to the surface and you can exactly give that segments to the domain and we have that let's just bake this that segmented surface on that uh, base surface we just used for uh, using it to model the boxes. So let's just turn this off. So let's just uh, go and use the area here and find the area centroid of these uh, surfaces. And now we can compare this point attractor with the centroid of this. We have talked about this. We can use the CP point tool closest point we have explained uh, why we are using this but for now we always find the distance between the point attractor and the grids so let's just use the CP point and not the CP points remember okay we can give the centroids to the point the point attractors to the cloud and then we have the distance to use that to define those heights right so what I want to do is to simply use the remap you can also download this remap tool uh, from the website and give this distance between maybe 2.5 and scale those distances because you can see that this distance is too much for the boxes. If I give this to the height, you can see that those boxes are too uh, much, those height is too much for the height. So what I want to do is to scale down the distance to 2.5 and to maybe 6. And if, if I give this to the height, and you can see that I can increase that. <clears throat> Let's just turn the centers off. And you can see that they are just acting on that. So I can just change this and produce the boxes, whatever I want. 
and we can also change the minimum and the maximum and as you can see here the boxes which is near the uh, point attractor will just increase the height and those who are far away will just decrease the height okay so now we can just increase those boxes and then change the point attractor okay we can also use multiple point attractors so let's just use the shift key and add another one if we want to have two multiple uh, two uh, point attractors and so on okay so now we can just turn this on and you can see that those boxes okay let's just bake them will have different heights based on point attractor this is uh, more height for the boxes and these are less height okay so this is a tutorial how you can use the box morph and the surface uh, box tool to produce the boxes and the course members also can find the advanced exercises uh, three or four more exercises for those who want to know more about this but you can download the uh, this example file from the website uh, from the parametric house website thank you for watching and subscribe to our channel and you can also watch uh, something that is related to this video that corner and see you next time